Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, this is the 15 Minute Gamer, and in today's video I'm going to take you through a full installation guide for Stalker Gamma. The installation process has changed with the addition of the new Gamma installer, so there's a few extra steps, but it does make things easier. As always, links to everything will be in the description below. I'll keep it as easy as possible, and of course any questions leave them below in the comments section. Drop this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content, right? Let's get to it. So the first thing you'll want to do is probably get on the Discord. Um, if you go to the first link in description, anomalymod.com slash repacks slash stalker gamma, you'll find a link to the Discord on there. That contains an installation guide, mod information, help if you need it, all that sort of thing. So it's a really good Discord. Or you can go to the official GitHub and just download the stuff yourself. Next up, you'll need to download 7-Zip. 7-Zip's the one I use all the time anyway. Don't use WinRAR for this, use 7-Zip. So head over to 7-Zip.org slash download, link in the description, and just download the version you need. Next up, we need to create two folders within wherever you're gonna play this game. So in this case, I'm using my gaming uh, SSD. It does recommend you install it on an SSD. So if you have an SSD, just install it to that. So we're gonna make two folders, one called Anomaly and one called Gamma. So all we're gonna do is come up to new at the top, click folder, and we're gonna name this one Anomaly. We're gonna click new at the top again, click folder, and we're gonna type in Gamma. So you can go up there and click new at the top or you can right click and uh, new and folder, whichever way you want to do it. The next step is something you may need a little bit of technical knowledge for and also Google how to do it for your antivirus. So basically them two folders you've just made, the anomaly and gamma ones need added to your antivirus's exclusion or whitelist or whatever it's called on your antivirus. I'll put a link in the description which shows you how to do it if you're using Windows Defender. I use Malware Bytes. I just clicked on it, went to folders, exclude, added them to folders, and that was it done. It might be different if you have Norton or whatever. So just Google how to add folders to your insert antivirus exclusion. And that's all you need to do, add them to folders to that. The reason for this is because the file and the launcher is kind of like, it hasn't had signatures attached to it and some antiviruses don't like that and will just instantly delete it or quarantine it or whatever they want to do to it. And then you won't be able to install Gamma. Next up is all the downloads. So first off, we're going to download Stalker Anomaly 1.51. Remember all the links for these are in the description. So come on here, go down to download now and click that. Next up is Stalker Anomaly 1.51 to 1.52 update. Again, on here and click download now. Next up is this WLNDL7 or WINDL7. These are all the exact same file. You just need to download one of them. Click on them there or click download. Next up is your MPDNSO. These are all the mods you need. So again, just click on there or click download. Your final one is super quick, link in the description, and this is the launcher. So if you just watch up here in a second, there you go, that's it downloaded. So all you do is click on the link in the description and it will download the launcher for you. And that is it for part one. Now moving on to part two, which is the installation and downloads and how to set everything up. Okay, so now you should have five files downloaded and we're gonna extract each one into its relevant location. Remember to use 7-zip during this process. Right, first off, the file we're gonna select is this anomaly 1.5.1.2. We're gonna right click on it. We're gonna click show more options. We're gonna go to 7-zip. We're gonna go to extract files. This little box will pop up and you're gonna select the folder where you've just created the anomaly in the gamma one. And this one is gonna go in the anomaly one. So just click on here, the three little dots, go down to this PC, 
select your drive, and this is going into the anomaly folder. So click on there and click OK. So you should see something like this. If this box is ticked, untick it first. Otherwise, it'll create separate folders and it's a little bit annoying. So untick that box and then click OK. Like that. This will take around about three to four minutes. Mine took five minutes when I first did it. So yeah, just do that. Right, that's just coming to an end. As you can see, it's taken about four and a half minutes. When I done it on my hard drive the first time round, it took around about the same time. So yeah, that's gonna take you about four and a half minutes. Once this is complete, you'll see your anomaly folder is now full. Right, okay, next is we're gonna install the update patch, which is this one, anomaly 1.5.1 to 1.52 update. Again, right click, go to show more options, go to 7-zip and go to extract files. Select the same folder as before, which is E anomaly. We're gonna take that off the end there and we're gonna click okay. If it wants to overwrite any files, say yes. So you might see something like this, click yes to all. And this will start and storm. As you can see, this one's a lot quicker. It's gonna take about 20, 30 seconds. So we'll just stay on. When it's done, this is the file you're looking for. This changes 1 151 to 152. If you do not see that, you've probably done something wrong. So just bear that in mind. So now that's done, we're gonna launch Anomaly by clicking on there. And we're just gonna make sure everything starts up and is working, which it is. So that is fine. We can close that down. So next step, we're gonna select Gamma RC3, which is this one here. We're gonna right click, we're gonna click show more options. We're gonna to go to 7-zip, we're gonna click extract files. This time, we're going to our gamma folder. So click on there, this PC, E, look for gamma, click okay. Gamma folder, again, if that's ticked, untick it. Click okay, takes a few seconds. So there you go, that is almost done now. It's taken about 40 seconds. It's not very long at all. I've opened up my gamma folder on the hard drive and you can see all that is filled. Next up, we're gonna extract the new launcher. So gamma launcher 4.3. We're gonna click on right click. We're gonna click show more options. We're gonna click on seven zip and extract files. We're gonna go in here and this one a little bit different. We're gonna click on this PC. We're gonna to go to E. We're gonna to go to Gamma. We're gonna click on here, which is dot Grox Mod Pack Installer and click OK. So you should see that there. Click OK. Take a few milliseconds, it's done already. When you go into Grox Mod Pack Installer, you'll now see two Gamma installers. The one you wanna get rid of is Installer and keep launcher. So just right click on installer, you'll notice that it's bigger file and it's older. Right click on it and just delete it like so. Right, next step is we're gonna click on gamma launcher and that will open up this screen here. We're gonna click first, inst first install installation. When that happens, you'll see that little box pop up, click okay. So when this pops up, we'll click browse and we are looking for our uh, anomaly folder. So click back, go to anomaly, click select folder. Do you want to look around tutorial? I would just say no. And then this box will pop up and that's how you know you're successful. Now click on here and we're going to click install slash update gamma and you'll see a little progress bar along the bottom and you'll see this sort of thing pop up. Now, something to note for this, when you're doing this, because of the amount of requests that go through and technically this is kind of like a bot, mod DB may, may flag you and block you for a little bit. If that happens, you just have to wait a couple of hours and you'll be unblocked on it. So just bear that in mind. If that happens to you and you see any blocks or issues come up, just try again later. It's just because of how many people 
are like trying to download this thing at the moment. While it's installing, you'll keep seeing things like this. It'll just keep going through and it'll take around about 20 minutes. You see here, so it's just downloading all the zip files, all the mods, everything for you. So this game is fully modded. There's like 378 or something like that. It's insane. Um, but yeah, we'll just run through that and we'll just let that run in the background. Okay, I was highly optimistic. That took more like an hour. <laughs> so yeah, go make yourself a sandwich or a cup of tea or something. Once that's done, <clears throat> once that's done, if you still have the, the white um, launcher in the background, just close that down, click play, because it'll open it back up. So once it's done, click run. This screen will come up. Click play. Don't click that button. It like locks this application off. Don't worry about that. That is as expected. So there you have it, guys. You're now ready to play. Now, if you need some help or if anything has went wrong, leave a comment below. I'll try and help or somebody in the community will. Head over to the Discord. It's a really cool Discord, so go and check it out. Try and install everything again if you are running into a few problems. Maybe you done a misstep or maybe something didn't quite copy across or when you were installing using the launcher, maybe something happened. So just like click install, check your settings, check your mids. You done everything correctly. And kind of that's all I have to say. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.